What's going on workforce? Brian here and in today's video we're talking about before you buy Anthem. Here's a couple things that you probably want to know about before jumping in at least as it exists today. Uh, we're going to talk about the PC loading time issues, uh, ways to kind of get around that, uh, and essentially uh, talk about kind of the experience with any kind of issues that we've had with it. I would say just to kick this off and to start this off on a real positive uh, foot, I have had very little issues. I've been streaming, I've been playing, uh, and as how is the frame rate, all of it so far seems really, really good. Uh, typically, my frame rate seems to be about 60 uh, to 120, depending on what's going on in the game. Now, I'm running a 1080, uh, not a TI or anything like that. I have a 1080, I have an i7, uh, 770K uh, processor, and I'm streaming the game, and so far I've had very, very li uh, little issues. The, the frame rate seems good, solid, uh, stable. Sometimes I've seen it drop to 50, uh, but far and <laughs> far and wide, it's been a very enjoyable experience. If I'm not streaming, I actually have obviously better performance because less is being required of my PC at that time. Then, uh, as far as it goes, the loading times. I'm running on an SSD, and uh, as far as it goes, that has made a world of difference. I've been playing with those that have not been running on an SSD, and so if you have the option to install this game or to play this game on an SSD, especially right now, I would highly, highly, highly recommend you do it. We're talking a huge difference, 20 to 40, maybe even a minute difference in loading times. And considering that the game seems to have this weird thing in which that uh, sometimes it, it, it feels like, hey, you're getting too far away from your group in the mission, we're going to teleport you in 20 seconds, which would require another loading screen, which again, if you're not on SSD, that could even equal a lot. Now, people might say the SSD loading times are uh, you know too long as well. I haven't personally felt any big issue with that. I felt like they're much faster than they were in the demo. But then again, I was still playing also on the demo on SSD. So I, I obviously think there's definitely room for improvement, but the warning for the, I guess the tethering is a little bit weird because at first you don't also realize that you do have so much time. It just feels like as you're all traveling together, the lead person's not that much further before the warning kicks in. So it just is a little bit, maybe a little bit of tuning there, um, but it does make you like go, oh man, I don't want to hit another loading screen. So the loading screen seems to be right now the kind of the bigger issue. I You get into the game, I think uh, with, I was playing with my friend Dave and he literally uh, had a had it bug out on one mission. However, we all died and we got to repeat it and he was able to then load it and uh, complete it. So. Uh, as far as it goes, the only other glitch and uh, bug that I've really seen is that my audio is cut out uh, twice while playing. And so far, it actually hasn't impacted me where it happened. It was very uh, light, and obviously I can still read the text to get any context of the story. But I think one thing I do want to say is the voice acting, for me, is really good. Some people might have some issue with it. At least that's what they're saying in chat. I've been listening. I'm not necessarily uh, <laughs> taken aback by it. I'm enjoying the characterization. But if it did cut out in one of those kind of bigger cutscene moments or one of those bigger stories, oh man, that would be, I think that would be where it hurts. So hopefully they're able to kind of resolve that issue. I hear it's more a frostbite issue with the engine. We'll have to wait and see if they're able to fix it. I know the audio engineer uh, over it, they're still looking and crunching and trying to make sure that that gets resolved so you don't just lose audio all the time. But for me, again, like I said, I, you know, running on an SSD, uh, 1080 and then a 770K, uh, processor while streaming, very, very, very limited on the issue side. Uh, one bug I do find, and I should go and report it, is sometimes when you come out of the mission, you're looking one way, and then when I move the controller just a you know a slight, it sends it tends to jump like dramatically, like instantly. So wherever it's looking and wherever I guess it thinks that the controller point and the camera needs to go, it's a little bit jarring, but it's all pretty good so far. Like I said, uh, if you have the option and you're picking this game up. Make sure you install it on an SSD. You will, you you will enjoy it far greater <laughs> uh, for that experience, especially considering when you go into various things, when you go into an instance, uh, and when you're traveling about the world, it just makes a world of difference. You can kind of tell who is running on an SSD versus who isn't. Whenever I spawn in and everybody's there, I'm like, "Yep, we're all on the on the SSD." And then whenever uh, I'm not, and then you kind of see like, "Okay, we're still waiting for somebody to join in and go from there." So. Um, that, that essentially is that. Now, as far as what the game is needing, what does the game need to do? It needs the ability for us to replay missions. Once you kind of play through it, if you want to play through it again, I'm hoping that unlocks like as uh, you go through, because right now the only way to really play through the mission after you've cleared it is to play with somebody who has not cleared the mission. 
with one random exception in which that I went in and played a mission that I had already beaten last night. And I was like, oh, I thought I beat this. I'll go ahead and run it. And I had, and it, it let me play it again. I had a good, as good a time as I did the first time through. So I don't know what that was about. And, uh, but I'm hoping that we're going to see that because especially when we unlock Grandmaster, I'd like to be able to experience some of these missions on a harder difficulty. We've been playing nothing uh, but hard and especially when playing together and working together. There's only a few times that our squad so far has been wiped out. And that's where I'm just, you know, wondering if, if there was another step, if there was really hard or another way that they could have an even higher level of difficulty scaling for, I guess people, especially when you're playing with the four man, um, I'm not necessarily like it is challenging. You need to you need to play and, and do your role. But all in all, like when I've been wiped out, um, squad completely wiped out, probably about uh, three times so far uh, for about seven or eight hours of playtime. It's it's pretty good, I think. I mean, that's just where I'm sitting, and I'm wondering, and I cannot wait to kind of jump into the harder difficulties and see how challenging it ends up being. So anyway, I'm around uh, I think at level 14 or level 15 by now, enjoying the story. Um, and then as far as it goes, yeah, that's, that's what I wanted to tell you guys. So before you buy, uh, if you have the ability to run on SSD, uh, do it. If you don't have an ability to run on SSD, uh, maybe hold off for a little bit, maybe to see if, uh, the, you know, the update that's probably going to come next week, uh, solves the problem. If it, if it does, then awesome. And if it doesn't, uh, well, nah, then wait, because <laughs> they're going to have to, they're going to have to patch or do something. I, it's not a concern for me today. If it's still a problem by the first update uh, in March, if it's still having struggles with that, then I think there will definitely be some annoyance. And unfortunately, it won't be coming from me. It will be just the fact that, you know, the people I'm playing with are being held back. And that's that's just not fun. You want to be able to jump in with your friends. Uh, and then uh, next week, I'll be able to be able to play more on the Xbox X and see how that plays and feels uh, from there. I was able to play on that in the demo. Hadn't didn't have any issues with it really enjoyed it It was easy to get in and out uh, and then so i'm really excited about the fact that that launches uh lastly obviously the uh like while i said if you're if you've got the game and you're, you're like man you don't want to wake and you got a lot of time i recommend obviously jumping into premiere i said that in my other video yesterday but at the same time like i still i, I do want to clarify i think the system is ridiculous i think that you know what ea is doing there uh, obviously they want people to be accessed in that membership and so I don't, I don't think that's a good system. I'm not fond of it, but I have playtime, I have availability. And so for me, $15 wasn't a big issue to jump in to early access, to be able to play this game for a week uh, before it comes out for the rest of the world. Still, it's a weird thing. They should have done it uh, differently. They could have done it a lot better, uh, at least offered it as a part of a pre-order uh, incentive or I don't know, there's just a number of ways that you see other companies do it. Like when we look at Final Fantasy 14, in order to get early access, all you have to do is pre-order the game. That's that's kind of goes hand in hand, but I see why obviously the EA wants that money. They want people paying subscribers of origin uh, because I think that's gonna help their books out after especially a, a hard 2018. Anyway, <laughs> love to know your thoughts on this or anything. Are you? In Anthem, are you enjoying it? Are you not enjoying it? Are you on the fence? Are you waiting for uh, for this game for PlayStation? Because PlayStation players, unfortunately, get the short end of the stick, which I think is really unfortunate. And uh, again, I'm rooting for crossplay. Uh, hopefully, that we'll be able to play together, whether you're on PC, Xbox, PlayStation, or what have you. But guys, for work to game, my name is Brian. Hopefully, this video has been informative and helpful. Let me know if you got any questions in the comments below. Let me know if you have any issues and I'll do my best to help. But anyway, like I said, I'm Brian. I hope you have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Hey guys, it's me, Brian. Uh, thanks so much for watching this video. If you're new here, we hope you hit that subscribe button. Check us out. We talk a lot about video games and we hope to at least hear from you in the comments below. We also try to respond to our comments. You know, we really appreciate the comments, the discussion, all the various points of view that everybody is so kindly, uh, I guess, and politely or impolitely shares with us from time to time. So anyway, guys, again, uh, thanks for watching this video. We hope you hit that like button. We hope you hit that subscribe button. Come back for more content each and every day. Uh, we post a lot around here and we'd love to hear from you about what you like about video games and everything. And uh, especially if you have any questions that you're stuck on in anything. So anyway, signing off. <laughs> See you next time.